Hello all, welcome to Rotterdam.com. In this session, we'll discuss about authorization concept in Oracle Apex. We'll just understand what is authorization and also we'll create a sample demo and we'll showcase how do we control a page as well as item. So authorization, it is used to control what you can access in an application or in a page, right? So you can have a control mechanism to control the page or an item or a region in a page. And uh, if you're trying to compare authorization with authentication, authorization is all about controlling the page or the content of the page. And authentication is all about how do you log into an application? Either you want to log in via SSO, with a username, password, or a social sign-in. So, and LDAP access, a different mechanism. That is all about authentication. And now we are concentrating on authorization, okay? So when you discuss about authorization, there are a number of ways you can control a page or item, but we'll just showcase one sample scenario. And in this case, in this one, what we do is we'll just create a user and then we'll navigate to application access control and create a set of different groups. And then come into authorization scheme, we'll create an authorization scheme based on the application access control. And then on the page, we'll try to apply this particular authorization scheme and understand how the behavior differs based on the authorization scheme, which we apply to the page, right? So now I'll just navigate to the application. So I'll try. I'll create a new application first, and then I'll try to understand all the features of authorization. So I'll create two pages. So create page and we'll go with interactive report and I'll name it as EMP report. I'll select OEHR employees table and create page. And similarly, we'll create one more page and they will name it as department report. Okay, so as of now, we just created an application and two reports in that. I'll just try to log in without applying any any concept. So I'll just log in with my user, sign in. So we could see that there are two reports, EMP report and DBT report. And the first thing what we want to do is we want to create users, okay? so. Navigate to the application. And here, click on this icon, administration icon, and click on manage users and group. And here, what? why are we creating users and group? Because like uh, to the application, we want to mention how you want to access the application. As of now, like uh, we are not, con like uh, we are not create, we are not tying up our application with the different mechanisms, right? We just want to log in our application based on this particular users and group concept. So I have created a user with a name called user and the email ID is user at gmail.com. Respectively, you can create a different set of users, okay? This is the first task you have to create. Okay, I'll, I'll show you, create user. I'll say finance user. Pin.user at gmail.com. Okay. Okay. Let me try. Right. So now I create a new user. And the next task is now go to the application builder. And now this is our application. And now click on shared components. And here, go to application access control. In this, we'll create two roles, administrator and reader role. Add role, administrator.
reader. Okay. So these are two rules I've created. And now for the administrator, I will assign my account. And for the reader, so now what I'll do is we have created the roles and now assign the users to the role. Click on this button, add user role assignment. Now the username is, this is my email ID and this is my user and I'll assign administrator role. And similarly, so here we have a username called user. I'll assign this one to reader role. Okay, so we can just assign similarly for the other users also. And this is the application access control. Now click on shared components. Now we'll create authorization schemes. So click on authorization schemes. And this is a default authorization scheme which was available. So we'll create a new one, two roles and two authorization schemes. One is admin and another one reader. Okay, so I'll go with the scratch. I'll say admin authorize scheme. So here we'll select based on the role. And in this one, you select the role which we created, administrative role. Okay. So this is our authorization scheme name. And the scheme type is ease in role or group and select the authorization scheme. Okay. And go with the default and create authorization scheme. Similarly, we'll create authorization scheme for the reader also. So we have created now two authorization schemes, okay? So now what we do is, so for now, before changing anything in the pages or come, we'll just run the page now. And this is with the user, admin user. And now I'll sign out and now I'll log in with a user who is just a reader, okay? So I'll log in with a user, reader, click on this one and sign in. And now just see whether he was able to access everything or not. Okay. EMP report, department report. So now this user with a username user is able to access everything, right? There is no differentiation between the admin user and this reader user as of now. Now what I'll do is now we'll apply the authorization schemes on the respective components. Then we'll understand how the access behavior changes. So click on the application. Click on the department report first. Now we want to apply the authorization scheme in the department report at the page level, right? So here, this one, I'm at the page level and click on this one, click icon and click security. Now we'll try to make sure that this particular page is accessible to only users with the admin authentication scheme, right? Admin authorization scheme, admin authorization scheme. And uh, now what we'll do is I'll try to run the report now. I'll sign out again to just see is get applied or not i'll run with the user with the user name user and now click on the department report and see what happens it says simply access access designed by uh, i mean denied by page security check right so this issue will come up and now we'll try to apply similar logic on the a column level in the emp page so let us say for this user i don't want to show department to this user so i'll go to emp report And at the column level, you apply the authorization scheme. Column level, department ID. Now click on the security, apply the admin authorization scheme, that's it. Click on save, and you can just refresh this page or you can rerun, rerun. both will have effect. Right, now the department is no more available. And if you try to log in with the admin user, I'll sign out this one. Now, if I access EMP report, I should be able to see the department name as well as I should be able to access the department report also. So this is one of the very simple example to showcase the authorization scheme. Of course, you can try out with the different options. But now this is a very simple example to understand how do we control a page as well as item using a different authorization scheme. Thank you.